Hi everybody, it's Jo from Creative Empowerment. How are you today? Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling energized and um, centered and balanced and all of those wonderful things. But if you're not, what can you do? How can you make yourself not necessarily get out of those feelings? We don't want to push feelings away and we don't want to fight with our feelings. We want to accept where we are right now. So there are lots of different ways of doing that. One could be you might, you know, go for a run. You might do some yoga. Um, you could do some qigong. You could do some meditation. You could do some journaling, something like that. There's so many different ways to break the... Um, break sounds like a really harsh word. Um, to sort of put um, a stopper in how you're feeling, but not to push it back down but to, to sort of acknowledge where you are and how you're feeling and then move either ahead or sideways and sort of allowing yourself to be with that feeling and not necessarily pushing it away from you or pushing it down, simply just being with that feeling. And sometimes when our feelings are really strong ones, um, we can really struggle with, accepting them and being in the present moment with those feelings and I really understand that because when I was suffering from anxiety um, at the height of my anxiety um, I couldn't feel how my body felt but I also didn't have the skills or the knowledge to be able to do that either because all I felt was um, the pain and sometimes shame all the things that made me feel um, worse or less than um, all of those things just kept sort of pushing themselves you know up and out and and fear just kept coming up all the time all the time over and over again and this time um, in the world could really trigger your anxieties could really trigger all of the fear that you may have been suppressing you may have been using um, you know anything to, to sort of um, mask all of those feelings and it's perfectly fine and acceptable for you to do those things until you're ready to move on um, and moving on and changing the way that you deal with those emotions can be really tricky so finding something that works for you is the number one thing to do and it might mean that you do a few things it might mean that you do yoga and running and meditation but it could be that you just find one thing and that one thing is your go-to method um, for me I found Qigong and I found yoga um, and I also found meditation and I don't practice yoga as much as I used to but I definitely practice meditation and Qigong and obviously I teach those things but for me slowing myself down and really connecting to my breath was really challenging but also has been the thing that actually has helped me the most so it's been the thing that has supported me because when your mind is really busy and your body is overreacting is all in that fight or flight state it all it wants to do is run away from everything and the last thing you want to do is feel any of the things that are going on in your body because it just feels like too much. But the, the thing that you really actually need to do is actually do that. And really confronting, really challenging, but very, very deeply rewarding. And the thing that gets you through um, not wanting to feel. And not wanting to feel is a really common thing in our world and we often keep ourselves really really busy so we don't have to feel and when you start to feel you'll notice that you have some feelings that you don't want to feel and even if you don't have anxiety or depression or some other mental health issue that um, is constantly screaming at you or um, a pain issue that is constantly screaming at you wanting to be noticed even if you have none of those things and you just have a busy life, when you start slowing down and start breathing slowly and 
letting your body talk to you, you often don't like what it's got to say. But one thing that I would suggest to you is just to persevere a little bit through some of those challenges because though that that communication from your body is coming from the best place. It's your body actually talking you, talking to you so that you pay attention, so that you listen. And I'm not saying that that's an easy thing to do, but all I'm saying is that it's actually a really worthwhile thing to do, really worthwhile thing to do. Anyway, these are just some of the things that I've been thinking about during COVID-19. Um, and really, I'm very, very grateful that I have a lot of the skills that I do have now and I'm able to not to stop myself feeling the fear because I definitely was feeling the fear in the beginning of all of this. But I've now um, found a way that I can be more comfortable. Um, listen to some of those things that are coming up for myself, take notice of what they are and still breathe. And still get myself to the point where my body is really relaxed again and that is a picture that I never thought that I'd see of myself I thought of myself as someone whose body was always on the go and what I mean by that is like a constant motor running and running and running and running and running and it never ever stopped there was never any peace there was never any quiet um, but now I know that that my body can actually be really different from that if you'd like help with any of the things that I've talked about today on helping slow yourself down, on using some practices that are really good for your mental health, your physical health and your organ health, um, I'd love to see you come to one of my classes. At the moment I'm offering free classes uh, for another week before I head into um, regular class. It's been great talking to you. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.